everyone, I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. This is the start of my pre-prep diet and exercise program. So I want you to come along with me to see some of the recipes, some of the food that I eat to um, really get enough protein in. My protocols um, are quite a bit of protein before my prep starts. rather eat it this way than make three or four pancakes. Less work. This is a Greek yogurt. It's vanilla. It's so good. It's so flavorful. And I'm going to use um, just a little dollop of this. And I'm going to use a whole container of this Oiko's vanilla triple um, zero yogurt. And that's going to be my topping. That's another 15 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna put one fourth of a serving of this. I'm just gonna put it right in here. I'm gonna spread that on top of that. So I just did a quarter of a serving. So that gives me about an extra three and a half grams of protein, which is good. Especially when I'm trying to hit my protein goals. Okay, and that's it. This is a 40 ounce Stanley and I like to get these skinny syrups. You can actually buy these um, on the skinny syrup website or you can also sometimes find them at TJ Maxx or Beals or things like that. So these are really great if you are, if you think water is kind of boring and you need to get your water in, just do two pumps of that in my 40 ounce. And I try to do that twice a day. So it's about 80 ounces so of water. This is one of my go-to recipes right now. This is my second meal of the day. And I'm just gonna kinda go through the steps and share with you just how I do it, okay? I've told you about these in the past. Um, these are green beans from Costco. If you have not found these yet or tried these yet, they are like the best green beans that I've had. They really are. Um, I find them in the cold section where you purchase like the cold fruits and the cold vegetables. They're organic hippie green beans and like they have the best flavor. So what I did is I went ahead and rinsed them off and snapped off the, um, you know, the little strings at the end, the little stems, pop them in the microwave for about three minutes. And then after that, I put them in a pan with some olive oil spray and season them up. They are delicious. And they'll really go great as a side to my lunch. I wanna quickly share what's in this wrap. It's really easy, really quick, lots and lots of protein. I use one of these little wraps and then I'm going to use, this is a big Costco can of Kirkland brand chicken breast. I'm going to use about four ounces of chicken breast in this wrap. And then I'm gonna use this Trader Joe's um, buffalo chicken dip. Um, I'm also gonna be using one boiled egg. I'm gonna mix into my chicken mixture. Taking my, it's about a cup and a half of green beans in the microwave, and now I'm going to saute them in some olive oil spray with some seasonings. So I'll show you that in a minute. Take out four ounces of this chicken. Now I'm gonna make sure that I really break it up really well with the fork. One tablespoon is half of a serving, and that's gonna be 15 grams. So I'm gonna take it back over. I'm gonna change the units on it to be grams, and I'm gonna use 15 grams of this to make one tablespoon. Stir that up, whole boiled egg in, and I'm gonna complete the serving by adding another 15. There we go. Before I've made that Trader Joe's dip, kind of my rendition is just, um, and if you wanted to make it with less fat, you just use 
some like 0% fat free yogurt, Greek yogurt. You can use some ranch powder and some buffalo sauce. That's how I make it. It has kind of a ranch flavor to it, also like a buffalo flavor. So it's got a little kick and then it's got like a ranch flavor to it as well. So it's really good. And this can go in the oven as well. The handle cannot go in the oven, but this can. So it's really nice. So you just open it up like that, place it, squeeze it, and it tightens. Really nice. Probably a medium high heat. You want them to sear a little bit. Use plenty of this. Make sure they're drained. Add them to the pan. Use some salt and pepper, onion powder, some truffle. Have you tried this? Costco, so good on everything. Garlic powder as well. Keep in mind, we already microwaved these for three minutes, so they don't need much. I'm gonna add all of my ingredients into my tortilla, just like this. This is four ounces of chicken and one egg. I just want to show you, I absolutely love my pan. <laughs> I have a little trick that might help with your cravings. I always have Mentos gum. Now I have Mentos gum up until peak week. I purchased a variety of this Mentos gum. This one is spearmint. I also have peppermint and I've also gotten the cinnamon. Um, I buy these right on Amazon. They're really good. They have a really good texture. You know, I'm a texture girl. I pop a piece of gum and then I sip on my water. And the way that the gum texture turns when I'm drinking my water is so good. I almost feel like it's a snack. So call it silly, but it definitely helps that chewing craving. Okay, it's a little after two o'clock. I've already finished my, almost finished my 40 ounces of water. This is my next meal, a protein bar, it's caramel cashew, and it's by Barbells, and no added sugar, 20 grams of protein. So a really good rule of thumb when you are searching for something with protein to find out whether or not the protein is kind of enough for the item that you're eating, whether it makes sense, is to take the amount of protein, which is 20, you add a zero to the end of it, and that makes it 200, and if that number exceeds, matches or exceeds the amount of calories on the item, then it's a good amount of protein. Let's just say it's 15 grams of protein. You would add a zero to that and it would be 150 and then the calories on this would be 200 and that wouldn't be um, a very good source of protein. So you are looking for a yummy protein bar that tastes just like candy. This one is the one. So this is my fourth meal. I'm gonna do 225 grams of this non-fat Greek yogurt. This is the Kirkland kind and um, as much yogurt as I eat, I mean, honestly, the Faye is pretty good. It's just not quite as smooth as this. I just purchased this yesterday and I've already gone through almost half of this. I'm gonna be using it in the family's chili tonight for sour cream. This is Devotion Nutrition. This is the brownie batter. This is what I've been using kind of lately for this particular bowl. Um, I use different proteins for different things, depending on what I'm making. And I'm also going to use two servings of these no sugar added Lily's hot cocoa chocolate chips. And typically I use dark chocolate, but I'm out of the dark chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. But I also wanted to let you know that I'm working on my second 40 ounces of water. So flavored the same way. And that just helps me get through my water and also just knowing that if I do two of these, it's 80, okay? And then during competition time, pretty much a gallon through when it's getting close to peak week. So if I'm at 80 ounces, um, I'm kind of training myself to just get used to the water. So it's really important. This will help you regulate, this will help you stay full, and um, just hydration, beautiful for the skin, just really a good idea. Okay, so I've got my bowl here, I'm gonna, Tear it out, 225 grams. I would really suggest that you actually measure it. Don't eyeball it. If you're trying to get your protein, you should definitely not eyeball it, okay? So that's just a little food for thought, okay? I'm gonna just be doing a rounded scoop. 
put that in there. I do want to get that protein um, powder to be nice and creamy and not like thicken the yogurt up too much. So I'm going to put like a quarter of a cup of water and give it a nice stir. It's like a brownie batter pudding. It's so good. Do you see how creamy that gets? So that's beautiful. Beautiful. Two tablespoons seems to be just the right amount. 29. That's okay. But that's what I got out of that. I'm not going to put blueberries in, although blueberries or strawberries are really delicious. Okay. Hey there. This is my fifth meal. First of all, um, I'm going to cut this Ezekiel muffin in half. So into the toaster they go. This is from Costco. This is called Safe Catch. I don't know why they have the little um, opener on the bottom, so it's upside down. Yellowfin tuna, it's the best tuna I've ever tasted in a can. And just in this can is 43 grams of protein, just in this can. So that's exciting. I'm just gonna go ahead and flake it up just like that, because it kind of comes in like a disc. Chosen classic mayo, 14 grams. And that's about 15. I'm gonna add a little bit of stone ground mustard. Who doesn't love mustard? I love mustard. Mustard is so fantastic. It's so macro friendly. Um, I'm also gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna add some onion flakes, adding some celery. I'm gonna add a few carrots too because I already have my little mixture cut up here. So I'm just gonna add a few here and there. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I may add a little bit more seasoning. My English muffins are done, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and add these Simply Pickles. I'm gonna add one ounce, place the pickles on my bread here. I'm gonna kind of tear this one in half. <laughs> add all of the tuna on, just like that. This is a whole can, 43 grams of, of protein in the tuna. And then you've got eight grams of protein in the Ezekiel muffins. So you've got about 50 grams of protein. This is my last meal of the night. It's meal number six, and it's more like a snack. I'm going to take another serving of this nonfat Kirkland Greek yogurt, and it's two thirds of a cup, which is 170 grams of yogurt. This is called Nutso. If you haven't tried this, you really need to. You can usually purchase this at Costco. It is very hearty. It has lots of seeds and nuts in there. Um, very, very good nut butter. And I only need half a serving of this, so hang on. I'm adding that to my yogurt. Got a little peanut butter yogurt dessert after my workout. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna eat this and get ready for bed and uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching this whole six meal in a day, what I eat in a day, it's my pre-prep uh, diet plan. So let me know if you have any questions. Hey guys, hey, I went ahead and got ready for bed and didn't film an outro. So I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you got some inspiration and I will be sharing some more of these sometime very soon. I will also be sharing some workout videos in the near future. So I really do hope you will stick around, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. We have so much fun around here. Until next time, God bless you.